Oh yes, I still have the mask on because this is a good representation of October this year, 2021. Ah, it's not mandatory anymore, but you must wear it on the public transport. And I did wear it on the way to York Way. Because what happened is, yesterday, we decided to meet up with my friends. And I really, really, really wanted to do something that, well, doesn't take all night long. So we didn't have like 8, 10, 12 hours to have fun. We have basically quite a limited time of 3 hours. In this time frame, well, there not many things you can do that is pretty cool and makes you want to gather again. <laughs> next week or even earlier than that so what I did somehow it came to my mind that it would be good to go to an arcade game but you know there are no arcades anymore everyone has who likes to play Every, everyone has a home PlayStation or Xbox or things like that so it's very 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 hard to come by a good arcade so what we hit here it's called VR games and that is very very good we have i think five at the moment in the city and one of them one of the first ones and i think one of the best ones is the dna vr it's uh they have a couple of location buttersea camden and one more it doesn't come to my mind <laughs> at the moment but I told others, let's go to the Buttersea one. Because I always wanted to have a closer look to the Buttersea power station. That is sort of an iconic stuff. And you know, last time we were in Marble Arch Mound. It's an artificial hill. You can climb to the top. It's uh, near High Park, High Park Corner, Marble Arch, you know. And you can climb on the top and you can actually see from the top. From the top of it, you can see the Buttersea power station and they don't use it anymore because well they don't use it and that is that was a quite good decision but now it's like a cultural center but um, it said that it used to be so hot the whole building used to be so hot that all the stray cats gathered around it at winter time. So I really wanted to have a closer look and I had friends who used to work there and they have lots of pubs and restaurants and it really is buzzing with life. So I said let's go there and after that we can have a beer or something like that. So I said let's go to Buttersea but everyone said that okay let's go to Camden. <laughs> I was like okay okay let's go to Camden. I woke up so so late i woke up two o'clock in the afternoon and i knew immediately that i am late what i did a day before so yesterday i booked a ticket for everyone and well it was i need to tell you that it was quite quite challenging because you know everything was explained in details but not a single word said anything to me i had no idea about the gears i had no idea about the different rooms the different games so basically i just choose one option randomly and it turned out that that was the best option and i tell you shortly why but first <laughs> i need to tell you how difficult it was to get to the DNA VR game room in the York Way, Camden Town. Because basically, nothing written anywhere, no advertisement. And uh, well, at the Buttersea station, judging by the pictures I saw on Google, it looks like a shop, you know, with the front window and all this stuff. So it must be very easy to find. But these ones, no, this one, the Camden Way one, the Camden York Way one, is basically just the door on the wall and then nothing else. So basically I walked past, past by it like twice. For the first time in my life I needed to turn on the location on my phone and I needed to put the DNA VR game rooms as well so I can, I can see how far away from me the place is. But then I finally find it. 
so basically everyone got there in time which is rare someone always late usually it's me so we had a coffee before we sat down we talked about it and it turned out that no one before no one ever tried this thing before and i said okay it's really cool because when i was choosing tickets when i was looking through the option there were so many options and basically i chose everything randomly i confessed and that's it we went in no one knew what we're gonna do and and we had coffee before well if i can suggest something don't have coffee before because it will give you such an adrenaline rush that you don't need coffee or any sort of energy during before <laughs> we even have donuts well it it was not it wasn't a donut it looked like a donut a donut like so we have coffee and donuts beforehand and the donut didn't really look like a donut it looked like a sandwich like when you take a donut cut it in half and put cream in the middle and then put it back together so it's like a sandwich and it's called a coke so we bought that one we uh, bought a coffee flat white and and the coke and uh, well it tasted nothing like like donuts anyway if i can suggest something for you before a vr game don't eat anything and certainly don't drink coffee because well so we went to this place we went to the door we pushed it it was open there was <laughs> there was some autumn leaves on the stairs because it's in the basement you need to go down and when we looked around it looked nothing much really actually uh not long ago i tried indian uh, massage and the uh, whole place was very similar to the India massage place in North London so I was like okay we're gonna spend here 10 minutes and we go and it turned out that you don't really need any fancy things at all because it's not VR it's not about reality at all so basically you are going to have I didn't realize the name of this VR helmet they gonna they basically put it on your head you have the, and it completely covers your head, your ears, your eyes, everything. And you have something that you hold in your hand, both hands, and that's it. <laughs> that's it. So basically we went in, there were two guys there, and immediately in their eyes you could see that they are gamers. And I don't know who gave them the job, but you know, they had the passion and they were completely right for this job. When we went in, when I looked at the guys who gave us the gears and explained the games, I said, this is the best place. Because of the employees, they really knew what they're doing and they were really, really having fun. And this is so rare. You know, you don't see these kind of things anymore. People who are having fun at work. <laughs> we had, yeah, yeah, we had a couple of jokes going around and that was good. We went to, there is a big room at the back we went down and it's basically it's like a tatami room in, in japan and i was thinking even to take my shoes off so they put the gear on you it covers your whole head you know the face the eyes the ears everything you have the controllers in your head and they just asked one thing in the beginning because when i bought the ticket i didn't choose the games because i didn't know the games at all so um, in the end we choose the zombie game the shooting game and we choose the robots and the reason was that there were two types of games you can choose from one was the escape rooms and one was but the most simple one where you can just shoot and blow things up. So <laughs> we said, we, we looked, <laughs> all of us, we looked at each other and said, after this week, no brain cells left. <laughs> so just let's just shoot everything and blow up things. And, and you know, the guys there who were there, they were like, like nodding and laughing. Okay, let, let's do the, the shooting ones. So that was the zombie ones and the robot ones. So we went with the zombie ones first. You go to the room and I don't give you I don't want to give you any spoilers, but I will tell you something the mistakes I made 
it's very very important when they explain to you how to play it's very important that you listen because i lost quite a lot of time with the thing so uh when you are in a vr virtual world on the side you have a table with all the guns you can choose from and in the very beginning i didn't pay attention basically when you run out of ammunition when you run out of bullets you don't have to take you absolutely don't have to take another weapon at all there is a hand movement and they actually tell you this hand movement and you really need to pay attention i didn't that's why i need to emphasize this that you need to pay attention when they explain to you the different hand movements this is very important this is very very important especially to people like me who never played video games in their life so basically i was not just new to the vr i was new to the computers computer games in general so there is a certain hand movement you need to do it's very quick very fast and you have a whole round in your chamber and that's it you move on because i lost so much time all the time going back and forth to get a new gun when you don't need it at all and you know when you start to shoot the zombies are coming when you start to shoot you get used to it that you come they come to a certain um, distance and after that you just finish them off and suddenly there's they just appear out of nowhere and they are in your face and it gave me such an adrenaline rush i was really scared and my whole body was reacting to it and that was like oh my god you have basically five senses the smell the taste the hearing and uh, and and your sight and things like that and the vr when you had this thing on your head basically shows you th it's affecting what you see the visuals and still affecting the whole body 100% and this is such such an interesting thing that my whole body reacted to it so for for a second or for more than a minute I even forgot that I'm not in the game and this is very very dangerous this was the first time I tried this and and oh, it really pulls you in and your whole body reacts to it like it it is a reality and <laughs> this is really interesting i think we paid for an hour so basically we uh, we did the zombie run twice and the robot once and there is uh, an extra extra one which is like a hospital of horrors and one hour is basically a lot after there are chairs when you go down the stairs to the basement there is a hole and there are chairs and we sat there on that chest like 15 minutes you know just to get this out of our system just to have a rest because it burns so much energy this shooting and and the whole situation because you know your whole, your whole body feels like it's in, in danger and i was like oh my god it was so much excitement <laughs> so if you if you try it at first maybe you don't want to go for an hour or you you want to do only just 10 minutes even that one will be a lot at first oh this is a great thing yeah <laughs>